Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be all about me unboxing my brand new Soundcore Life Q35 headphones. So just to give you a quick background, I bought a pair of the Apple AirPods second generation in 2020 and it's been over two years since then. I still love my AirPods but the battery life has significantly diminished. When it was brand new, I used to be able to listen to music and watch movies for it for hours on end without interruption. But nowadays, I can't get past a full hour without having to like recharge at least one of the AirPods. So I didn't really want to buy another pair of AirPods because in a way they're still working. But at this point, I needed a brand new pair of headphones that can last much longer than one hour. And so after a lot of research, I figured I should buy the LifeQ35 by Soundcore. And one of the reasons why I chose this pair of headphones is because, well, there was a big sale and I saved probably $50, around $50 when I ordered it from their website here in Canada. Um, another factor is that it has noise cancelling, which the AirPods second generation doesn't, and I don't really want to spend a lot of money on the AirPods Max. As some of you might know, it's around $700 to $800. I don't really want to spend that much on a pair of headphones um, to listen to my music and, you know, uh, my, my audiobooks. Uh, I paid around $109 Canadian dollars for my Soundcore headphones and they are in this beautiful pale pink color and you know me and my obsession with pale pink almost all my stuff is in pale pink so I had to have these headphones it's super shallow but yeah the color is one of the main factors why I chose this over like all the other products are on the market aside from the big discount that they had a few weeks back. After unboxing, you'll get the pouch which holds the headphones in a very specific way. Along with it is a smaller pouch with a USB type charging cord and it's wire adapter for devices that don't have Bluetooth. Or if say your Bluetooth starts malfunctioning in your device so you can still plug in the headphones and use it. And it also has this black dual prong adapter that's meant for airplane audio sockets. Be careful not to confuse it with a power adapter and I put mine away so I don't accidentally use it in that sense. And here are the actual headphones. They're super lightweight and the cushions are comfortable and made with this almost buttery soft faux leather material. I feel like it might start to feel a little hot if you wear them at a place with a temperature over say 25 degrees celsius but since i live in such a cold country i think it's perfect by the way if you like my video so far please hit the like button it will really help me out when it comes to storing them it's, it's pretty easy the pouch kind of shows you how it should be folded so it fits snugly inside. However, I barely use these headphones for when I have to listen to music or stuff like that outside. I would just take my good old AirPods with me instead. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but unlike the AirPods, you have to manually turn these headphones on and off during the times when you don't use them and I'm kind of guilty of leaving them on overnight sometimes. But what I love about these headphones is I can use them across my different devices simply by switching the Bluetooth connectivity on each device. Another thing I love about them is I can just place my palm against the right headphone and it will switch between noise cancelling and transparency. I really love these headphones so far and I hope they last longer than my AirPods. I think they will if I take better care of them by not draining the batteries and you know turning them off when they're not in use. Let me know in the comments below what headphones you're using and if you recommend them or not. 
and please subscribe for more of my videos because I post every Friday. I'll see you in the next one.